Well, I'm coming through now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're <laughs> welcome, Elijah. Um, Hello. You're on the air. Uh, welcome to the Creative Process 91.3 FM WKNH. Fridays, 4 to 5. Yeah. It is so great to have you on here. Thank you for uh, waiting through the technical difficulties. Of and thank course. you to all the listeners for doing so. So, Elijah, we just heard some songs from you, which I know you were you were listening to as yes, well. Yes, yep. So, um, I guess the first thing, first of all, how's your day been? I'm just kind of curious. because Oh, yeah, yeah. My my day has been great. Um, you know, I had, had lots of classes today. Um, I was just out with some friends. We were, uh, you know, getting some Halloween stuff prepared. Heck uh, yes. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's about all today. Dude, How about you? That's exciting. Um, you know, pretty good. Pretty busy. Yeah. Been doing lots of stuff, getting my, um, I'm a wellness ambassador now at Keene State, mm. working for the wellness center, so we get to do lots of fun stuff, so shout out Very to cool. that. So, um, looking at these older songs, I guess the first thing I'm, I'm just kind of curious about is how has your songwriting process matured in the last few years? Because obviously we heard a big difference from 2016 to now, but also there's vocals there now and there's messages behind it, so... What has that been like for you? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, definitely starting back in like... <laughs> I, I heard it when you pushed a button. Did you push a button? I didn't phone? press I anything. <laughs> okay, I heard a beep. Anyways. <laughs> Very weird. Keep going, sorry. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's changed a lot um, since, you know, back in, in um, 2016 and even prior to that when I was making stuff. Um, I'd say the biggest that the biggest single change that happened there's two big changes um the mm-hmm. the first thing was quantization um mm-hmm. the first couple songs that you played like i think it was that beat though and that and, beat though. <laughs> and whatever that other sunshine is that i think it was yeah. sunshine yeah <laughs> those were not quantized so mm-hmm. that means and for those of you who don't know quantize quantizations when you kind of snap um audio or or midi software instruments to a grid to align them so mm-hmm. that everything is in sync and plays on this on beat um yeah let and, them know <laughs> yeah yeah so the, my my first those first tracks were not there so after you know quantization i would say was the first big thing that really made me go okay like this makes a lot of sense um and then the second biggest thing like you said was vocals right so i i started without vocals and i would kind of sit down at the piano for you know, maybe an hour and just bang out a song in, in 2016 times and I would have just submitted it and be like, boom, done. You know, that's it. Submit it on SoundCloud. But now it ta- I, I take a lot more thought, a lot more days, a lot more time of me, you know, sitting down and, and listening to something over and over again and kind of finding words and phrases that resonate with me and even an overall message that resonates with me that kind of corresponds to the music itself. And I try to do that the best I can, you know. Um, yeah, so that's interesting when you're talking about how you're putting more time into each song now. Mm. If you just like sat down and banged out an instrumental in one sitting, would it kind of sound of similar quality to Sunshine or Dad Beat though, like some 2016 stuff? I do think it would be different just because, um, I mean, even if you take like the software I was using, ba- I was using GarageBand in those times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Logic now, which is great. And, and so, you know what's interesting yeah. is I say more time. Um, but you know, sometimes it, it still can happen really fast. Um, so like, for example, yeah. our days, one of the songs there, I had a bunch yeah. of songs drafted for passengers. That was going to be the first song in the album. That was going to be kind of an upbeat, um, kind of, but also have that nostalgic kind of feeling to it that I wanted to create. Um, but yeah, our yeah. days, I really did in the span of a day or two. Um, well, yeah. Most of the the creating, you know, obviously once we once I had the main song down and the main stuff down, there was a lot of tweaking that went into it. It was originally in a different key. It was a little, originally a little slower, um, hmm. and so once I got that main thing down, um, I, you know, with that which was pretty quick in itself. Everything else was kind of fine tuning, and that, and that did take some some extra time after that. That's sick. Yeah, no, and and you know, I found some of the best songs are the ones that come together so quickly. Mm-hmm. The ones that you just like. Where you're you're cohesively pulling together one idea in a day, like it's not something because sometimes if a project gets really stretched out over the course of course of weeks, it can make it better and better, but it also can make it more and more confusing, diluted, or fragmented as you're trying to piece it together. Right. Um, so I feel like it can go either way, right? And it's just kind of good when you when you make it and you're like, oh wait, 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 okay, I don't need to touch this anymore. Right. Like, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Don't fiddle with it. Yeah, I know, right? Like it's, it was good the first time. Um, right. So that's always exciting. Um, I was I'm curious about are you <laughs> uh, are you still recording in your car your vocals? Absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> I heard you I heard you earlier. 
mentioning about a couple of things with the mic setup. You said it would be funny if it's the same. And Sam, I'm going to tell you, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I traded out. So uh, basically what I have been doing for a long time is, and right now I'm in my car too, which mm-hmm. is funny. Um, I have always He's in the studio now. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in my studio right now. Uh, in my 2008 Red Series sports car. Uh, you know that's oh, that's my represent. studio. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, I I always used to bring my MacBook Pro, um, and I would I would bring my USB mic, my Blue Snowball. It's like 50 bucks off of Amazon, and I would sit in the car and record my vocals. Um, the thing is, is over the you know over the summer I was still able to do that, but now that I'm in college. Um, I, I, uh, traded my laptop out, uh, for an iMac mm-hmm. because I, my laptop battery is really bad and it was not proving to be very useful for me. Um, it was kind of not great. So I swapped out for an iMac. Mm-hmm. So the car option right now, um, is limited to, you know, very, very limited. I'm pretty much just recording things like very rough drafts on my iPhone, but otherwise I'm just doing it in my dorm room on with the blue snowball <laughs> in my iMac. Oh, yeah. But, you know, and at that point, I'm not really going full force either. So actually, currently, I don't have a, 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 a great setup for that, but pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. I mean, you know, uh, if it works, I was doing some research on this, and small cars can have good acoustics. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if your car is relatively small, but just in general, if you're positioned in the right spot... Yeah. Um, like I go in the back seats of my car away from the windshield because I know yep, me too. glass can reflect the sound in a bad way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it gets hot in there like the easily. Oh yeah, you know, it gets the car, roasting, the windows, dude. Yeah, the windows can get like condensation <laughs> yeah, on them. Yeah. It gets it can be hard to sit up straight yep. when you're trying to like record Project. strong vocals which you know pull from your diaphragm. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm starting to feel those struggles, and it's you know it's it's easier said than done mm-hmm. definitely. Uh, in a car but the dorm dorm room life like I've been there that was me mm-hmm. like my first two years really uh, at college I mean you could ask my roommate Trevor I recorded Sleep is Greater Than Coffee that verse oh, right yeah. in my dorm closet yeah. <laughs> you know right before class um, I love that. and that's just how it is like in my freshman year I was just like kind of quiet about it because I, I was like oh man you know like I don't want to disrupt mm-hmm. other people my second year, I was in a dorm that was a lot more sound insulated, and also I didn't care. Yeah, so you're just full <laughs> force. Like, you know what? I I want to make this. I've I have nowhere else to go. I am going I to scream it. in my room. Um, and uh, that's just, this is just how it is. My my sweetmates, I was just like, hey, if you hear me shouting, I'm not in trouble or anything. I'm, I'm actually I'm just working on some. I love so, that. You know, that's how it is. Um, so thinking about like collaborations with the you know creative process and, and just working with people in general with music, like what is one of your favorite experiences collaborating with someone on a song? Because you've you've you know you and I both worked with a lot of people over the last yeah. few years. And I'm just kind of curious, you know, what's one of your favorite? Man, that's that's tough. Um, I would say, shoot. Um, well, the one that immediately comes to and mind. Then, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. And this can encompass anything, like from anything serious to anything joke to school projects, you know, whatever. Gotcha. I, I would say for me, the, the one that comes to mind initially is um, I really, really loved my most recent collaboration with Joshua 2. Um, mm. Fantastic musician uh, that we both have connections Shout with. We both I gotta get him with. on here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Yes. Josh is awesome. fantastic. Um, he's such a talented musician, producer, um, and he always brings his own flair to anything that you, that you work on him with, which is just fantastic. Um, and we worked on When the World Ends, which is my most recent single. That was definitely one of my favorite collaborations mm-hmm. because we, you know, kind of came up with something that was a throwback to our song called Sakura from back in like 2018 right. um, and it kind of felt really good to come full circle on something that we started a long time ago and you know it's not I'm not saying you know a lot of people say it's it's what the true vision of the song was meant to be it's not necessarily because they have a different vibe but it feels like a perfect way to end off kind of that song which was kind of a, a whole era at least in, in my personal life and you know from experiences at youth group right with sakura uh and all these different <laughs> yeah. kind of things right that we 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 made versions of sakura together you and i um yes i do remember and so 2018 or something yep, yeah we made a couple and um yeah yeah so it that collaboration was definitely one that was really good um and i have one other one that immediately came to my mind as well um that would be 
both of the times that we have worked together on a collaboration video. So the collaborate the the um, two hour sample challenge that we just did in twenty twenty yes. was a blast. That was a lot. That of was fun. a video <laughs> on YouTube uh, that we made, and it was. Shout out awesome. Elijah Bovera on YouTube, Ham Center on YouTube. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that was a fantastic time. And also, going this is going way back when you, me, and uh, Phil Malika created that uh, the blind music challenge on YouTube. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. Yeah. So yeah. So so to expand on what Elijah's talking about, we we've done some YouTube stuff over the years, and we've done um, like a muted music production challenge where we had a certain amount of time to make a beat. Um, and we couldn't do it. We couldn't listen to it at all while we were working on it. So that was effectively blind, into, you could say. Um, and then we did a timed music challenge a few years later in 2020, where we all remixed. Um, it was it was you, me. I think Joshua too. Did anybody else do a remix? I think it was just us three, and then it was it was, it was yeah. just three of us. Yeah, Re- remixed. What song? What it song was, was Soft that? Like Snow by Vice and King Akira. Yes, exactly. Um, banger, yep. banger alert. Um, so, well, I accidentally just lowered my chair. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we banged that out, and that was we had a two-hour time limit yep. to do that. So um, I remember being stressed yeah. about that because I was screen recording, and I was like, I was like recording vocals on yep. camera, and I was like, this is, this is uncomfortable. Um, man, yeah, no, that stuff is fun. I, I do have to put in a good word, too, for you know some of the, the joke music mm-hmm. we made we've had. I just remember having a good laugh. Um, so... Man, yeah, definitely some of my faves. Um, but yeah, so um, I just want to thank you again for pulling up. You're listening to WKNH Keen 91.3 on the air with me is Elijah Bovere. You were hearing some of his music earlier in the hour. This is the creative process from 8 to 9 p.m. on Wednesdays. And Elijah, I'm just kind of curious wrapping up. Like, is there anything you got coming up we should be looking out for? Um, anything coming up? You know, I, I don't have um, a, a solid uh, a new album or anything like that to, you know, that's kind of coming up. Mm-hmm. But I would say I do have some exciting videos um, planned for YouTube. I've got some collaborations and things like that. If you do want to look out for that's it, awesome. um, go on to YouTube, search me up. And uh, yeah, I would I would love to uh, see you comment or anything like that. I will always respond. So heck yes. Yes, us small YouTube creators, we see, we read we every do. single one of those comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, we heart many of them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, alrighty. Well, thank you again, Elijah. I hope you have a great night. And, um, yeah, keep on Absolutely. creating. Absolutely. Take care, my man. Thank you so much, brother. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that was um, Elijah Bovere. Um, you can find him on YouTube um, as Elijah space B O I S V E R T. Took me like a year and a half to of a friendship with him to figure out that's how you spell that last name, because I just never asked, but here we are. Um, Yeah, shout outs, Um, it was great to have him come on.